I'm, it restarted just before I hit the trees, and it may be a couple of seconds at the most. But uh, all my uh, training just sort of kicked in, and, and you know, you're supposed to fly the airplane. You don't quit flying it until it can't fly anymore. You know, you fly it all the way into the ground. And um, that's what I did. I flew it all the way down. So that was 50-year pilot veteran Wesley Parker on October 6, 2022 out of Greensboro, North Carolina. You can see the aircraft in total pieces here. Only the tail remained, but the pilot was without a scratch. It was awesome to see November 655 Whiskey Papa was the tail number on this one. And this is the aircraft he was flying. It's an experimental one, crashed uh, Fisher Celebrity. And that's what it looks like. Pretty nice aircraft uh, before the crash. And then this is uh, the airport and the flight path they were trying to do some training at. This Piedmont Triad uh, International Airport runway uh, two three right and then had some engine problems and was forced to do an emergency landing but you can see the aircraft in the houses and uh, avoided the cars luckily nobody was home at the time but came right through here and uh, that's all he had that's the only little scratch on his leg so awesome job that this pilot kept his wits about him and uh minor damage to the house so all in all not bad they got what's left of the aircraft onto the flatbed tell you that you know i do all the things that you need to do before you go up we had a fire extinguisher on on the airplane i had my i have four point safety harnesses and i had them pulled tight which i recommend to everybody to do that i had them pulled tight and when i actually hit the ground you know that's what kept me from hitting anything in the cockpit and the airplane failed just as it's supposed to. It absorbed all the energy and I walked away. I really like making these videos about the pilots when they survive because it's always good hearing their stories when it's fresh in their minds. And um, it's a lot that we can learn from. So if you want to see more videos of pilots that have survived and tell their tales, you can watch it here. This is Arfanam Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.